question three, we're given two rectangular-based prisms and asked to compare their volumes. First, let's solve the problem visually, then we'll confirm it using algebra. Now, when we're thinking about volume, we're thinking about filling in the space inside a container. So we've got a small rectangular base prism and a large one. Why don't we find out how many of these small uh, boxes, if you like, rectangular base prisms, will it take to fill up the larger container? OK, let's start by drawing an outline of the small rectangular based prism. Then let's take that outline and move it into the larger rectangular based prism and see how much space it takes up. If we look at the length dimension, we'll call it this one here, we can see 10 centimeters versus 20 centimeters. So the small box will take up half the distance along the length there. So we can mark that there, that's half the distance. And if we look at the width, 4 centimeters compared to 8 centimeters, then it also takes up half of the width. And we can put a little mark there. And now let's compare the heights. This is 5 centimeters here, this is 10 centimeters here, so it represents half the height of the larger prism. And we'll put a mark there. We can see that we got lots of space left inside, so let's take another copy of that um, smaller prism, rectangular base prism, and move it into the larger prism. And we can probably fit another one right there to represent the other side of, of the first one we put in. So here we filled in all the uh, width dimension here, but we still have some uh, length to fill in and we still have some height to fill in. So let's keep going. We'll take another copy and we'll move it in and we can see that we can fit it in right there. And in this case, what we're doing is representing the last uh, second half of the length here. That's filled in that spot. But we still have some space behind that here. So let's take another copy and move it in to that space at the back, like so. So we filled in sort of a bottom layer here of the larger rectangular prism. And we have, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four of those smaller prisms inside already. But we still have lots of space at the top. So let's continue the process. And we'll take another copy of the smaller rectangular base prism and we'll move it into the larger one and start filling in. And it looks like we can fill in the top half of that first one we put in there. And then quickly we can keep going here. We can get another one to go beside that one to fill in the other part there beside it. And then another one to fill in at the back behind it. And then finally the last one to fill in that space again at the very back. So our larger container is now full, and we've put in it um, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, and an eighth smaller rectangular base prism. In other words, the volume of figure one, the larger rectangular base prism, is eight times bigger than the volume of figure number two. So visually, it looks like our answer is the last one here. The figure one is eight times the volume of figure two. But let's confirm that using some algebra. Well, we know that the volume of any rectangular base prism is equal to the area of its base times its height. So volume is equal to the area of the base times the height. Or if you prefer, length times width, which would be the area of the base, times height. So let's start by looking at the volume of the larger rectangular based uh, prism. So our volume would be, volume of figure one would be its length times its width times its height. And its length is 20 centimeters, its width is 8 centimeters, and its height is 10 centimeters. So we put those in here. 20 times 8 times 10. And we multiply those together. 20 times 
8 is 160 times 10 is 1,600, and the units would be centimeters cubed. Now let's calculate the volume of the smaller rectangular base pyramid. Again, the volume would be length times width times height. Length for this one is 10 centimeters, width is 4, and height is 5. So if we put those in, 10 times 4 times 5, and 10 times 4 is 40 times 5 will give us 200 centimeters cubed. So now let's compare the volume of the larger one to the volume of the smaller one. Well, the volume for the larger one is 1,600 centimeters cubed, and the volume of the smaller one is 200 centimeters cubed. Here we can eliminate the units, take off two zeros, and then two goes into 16 eight times. In other words, the volume of the larger rectangular base pyramid is eight times the volume of the smaller rectangular base pyramid. So we've just confirmed our answer using algebra. And there you go.